Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back. So, yesterday, right? I had some viewers who said they couldn't hear the sound at the end or close to the end, right, of the reading. I had other viewers that were like, no prob. So, this just goes to show us truly that in life, let me just move the camera so you can see that in life, there's going to be days where one sees something that the other does not. So that's the lesson. What one sees one day or hears or doesn't hear was meant for each and every one of us to, in, on a different level, a different, it's just the same as the concept of perception. One person can perceive $5 and another person can perceive it in a different way. Some may say, oh my God, that's a lot of money. Someone who's gone through the depression has said, yeah, that's a lot of money. Someone who has been, let's just say, so-called entitled for the lack of another word right now, right? Thinks $5 is chump change, right? So, however you view life, however you receive life, be it a video and such, that is exactly, the, that happening was exactly the lesson of receiving that which only you are supposed to hear, and how you reacted with grace or with panic of not knowing, right? In a panic of not knowing if what you were missing, were you missing out on something? Do you know what I'm saying? That's the way of life. That is life. This is a general reading. For Wednesday, right? The 6th, 2021. Not to mention, in addition to that, the numbers yesterday were 155, right? January is one. The fifth was yesterday and 2021 is five, right? That came out to an 11. So that may have significance. It's a master number. I said it for some reason. So 11, of course, is the, it, it's just, you know, it's like this, right? And when you put them together, it becomes that sacred giving and receiving in prayer. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's happening for today. Either a decision has been made and someone is leaving it has not been an easy decision because you can see by it based upon the waters that it's turbulent. He's still standing in it. You know what I mean? Why? It's cloudy. It's rainy. Either he made a decision to let go, release something which was very difficult, or he's still waiting for the treasures from the universe to receive those treasures. He's waiting for that sunny day. That's exactly what he's waiting for, right? When is it ever gonna be a sunny day? Because this guy has had a lot of crappy days. I mean, we could all attest to that, right? <laughs> Masculine or feminine. Wanting the sunny day, wanting and needing, more importantly, the vitamin D, that is crucial to our health, crucial. 
And some people don't realize how much Mother Earth, first of all, Mother Earth is healing, right? And as she heals us, well, we have to be outside. Not necessarily, but you know what I mean. To gain that, the breath of healing, you know, is to enjoy the outside. Now, also enjoying the polarity of the bad days and the good. I just saw it, so. All right? We have to appreciate that which with, with which we give and what we receive and accept what we receive as that is what we're supposed to receive. Not any more and not any less. Beautiful. So when I look into your eyes, right, I see the moon, the stars, and then suddenly the waters are calm. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for you, right? Someone's waiting for their, their sun, moon, and stars. I mean, right? That That's really general, but it's true. You know, the sun and the moon is the father and the mother. I want to give you all that I have. And even if all that I have comes from very little, yet I still want to give you what I have. No matter what, right? Can we just celebrate this union? Can we just celebrate the simple life? Can we just pour ourselves a glass of wine or whatever, water, you know, and just be grateful for what it is that we actually can give one another. Because what this couple is doing is giving each other the sun, moon, and the stars. That can't be bought. It is at the heart of the matter. The core of existence is the love that we give and receive. It's, it's just, right? Giving and receiving in prayer. And accepting that which we, with which we again accepting whatever one has to offer and letting that be enough. Mother Earth has much to offer, but who's taking the time? Who's taking this time out to say, I'm going to go appreciate the simplicity of a picnic uh, the simplicity of a drive. Who does that? And if you don't, why don't you? Who takes time out for Mother Earth as she's always giving to us every day with every breath? The squirrels, the rabbits, the lizards, they all know how to survive in Mother Earth. And they survive quite well, don't they? The birds, the crows, the hawks, etc. All of the animals, plants included. They survive quite well in Mother Nature. Why? Because they take time. Well, they, of course, they're part of Mother Earth. But Mother Earth came first. We just inhabit the earth plane. Mother Earth will always remain. 
So when's the last time you appreciated what she had to offer? Stop and smell the roses. Stop and, and really appreciate all of the healing properties with which Mother Nature has to offer. Mother Nature is all the love that you have in your heart. This is what that is. Mother Nature is the, is love. It is the love, the heart, the soul, and the body. Take time to go out. And I know there's, not everyone can be in the, in the, you know, in Mother Earth now, because there's a lot of places that are too cold to be outside. But who said you can't get in the car and take a drive? So what if it's snowing? It's beautiful. I'm not saying I want to live there. <laughs> Sorry. And you come to understand all the gifts. It's kind of like if you, I think, I feel that in addition to appreciating the giving and receiving that Mother Earth provides for us and to allow that to be enough as the message is enough. But I'm just going to say one more thing. That you become, you, you don't just reside in Mother Earth. You are Mother Earth. And I know I keep saying that and, you know, you keep hearing the same stuff. But there's a reason for that. Repetition. To learn a language, we have to re be repetitive. To learn Greg shorthand, we have to be repetitive. To learn anything in school, we have to repeat. Repeat, repeat. It's an ongoing, very arduous experience. But then you come to realize that while you're out in Mother Earth, receiving all the gifts that she has to offer, you become Mother Earth. Your body starts feeling so much better. You're, you feel lighter. You breathe in the air. It's clean, right? It's just so beautiful. It, we have here Mother Earth here, sun, moon, stars everywhere. Whether it's a cloudy day, whether it's a cloudy day, sunny day, or what have you, even though Mother Earth gives a lot more than those Four of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles is part of the home. It's the four, within and without. So whatever you receive out in Mother Earth is how you feel inside about yourself. That went a little deeper. So be passionate. Get grounded. Start creating. That's what Mother Earth does. We came from the womb of Mother Earth. It's creation. Therefore, create. What are you co-creating right now? Are you doing your vision boards? Are you taking Epsom salt baths to get grounded, hence you can't go outside because it's too cold. Are you eating vegetables? Are you healing? This is body healing. This is healing your mind, body, and soul. We said that. Co-creating, healing, and being one with all. And it's time. It's time to really appreciate everything that you have been given and what you receive and what is meant for you to hear. Sorry. People, I don't... Looking at the house like it's right. Okay. 
That's the deal. That is a beautiful message today. So what are we going to use? We're going to use the Starseed Oracle, okay, for the message today to bring it home. So as a lot of people, as a lot of people were contemplating and thinking, oh my God, and interesting about the reading yesterday, right? And interesting enough though, what was really interesting is when I went to do the part two, cause I did, of course I felt bad. And when I did part two, it just brought everything together. So that had significance about waiting, allowing, allowing universe to give you the second part so that it can, it could bring you home. It, it solidified the reading. You know what I mean? One card for today. I feel like I have two cards actually. So we will keep them. Child of the Cosmos. Oh, I love it. Right? We are all children of the cosmos. Mother Earth is inside of us. Look how beautiful that card is, right? Look at that. We are not our name. I said it before, but I feel like saying it again. We're not our name. We're not our age. We're not the body that we that holds this spirit. We are spirit. The card is the intelligence, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Right? Enough said? Probably not. Because <laughs> we got two. I'm sorry. Oh, there's an apology coming. Defensive defenselessness, writing past wrongs and uprooting. Again, uprooting this right here. I have only this to give, but it is at the core of my existence. It is at the heart. The deepest core of my heart is what I want to give you. It doesn't necessarily mean an apology. For some, it will. But for others, it is the deepest, at the deepest core of my heart, I see you as I am, as I am. Have a great day.